Welcome to today's episode of Men's Kitchen with yours truly, David Pham, aka the Giddy Fat Fat, where I will show you how to make simple, easy recipes in your own kitchen. Let's get started. Today I will be bringing to you chicken Hasselback. Simple ingredients, chicken breast, cheddar cheese, spinach, ricotta, salt and pepper. There we go. Let's turn on our fire here. Keep it nice and low right now. Just gonna add a little olive oil. Give it a look, our spinach a little saute. Baby spinach is preference, right guys? Baby spinach. You don't want that big fat one. Old tough one. You want the baby tenderness. Soft. Grab our spinach. Don't worry. Nice handful here. We're making four chicken butters. Actually, you know what? I'll just use it all. Why? The spinach wilts and it becomes like nothing. If you're on a diet, this is the perfect friendly diet for you. Spinach and cheese, add a little fat, lean chicken breast, hello. Six pack abs, not mine though, not mine. I like to eat cheeseburgers. Cheese steaks. Maybe that's another episode for you guys, how to make a, a Philly cheese steak in your own home kitchen. You're gonna get thinly sliced ribeye, some whiz, some caramelized onions, Oh, I can taste it already. Let's keep sauteing this up a little bit. Add just a tad of salt, just to drain. It'll pull the moisture out of these. And it'll saute quickly. Ah, uh, you guys see that? And that salt adds a vibrant green to this. I promise you that. Add it. As it begins to wilt, that's it. We cut our fire and keep sauteing until they're fully nothing. Like I told you guys, it wilt to like this. All right. We'll leave that there for a second. Next up, grab our ricotta. You gotta say it like the Italians do, you know, or they'll check you. Nice spoon there, maybe a little more. That looks about good to me, about half to half. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, add our spinach. Set my pan right there, and we mix. This gotta be one of the simplest Chicken house back recipes I've ever encountered, guys. And the flavors are already creating a waterfall in my mouth. This recipe was sent to me by one of my good friends, Diana Brown, you know? She's a good friend of mine. She always tells me, men who cook are, you know, Alright, this is already set. Leave that to the side. Let's break our chicken. Chicken breasts, guys. Nice big meaty breasts. Cleaned, washed, and you know, I and I chopped off some of the uh, excess fat that was on here. So hassle back. So it's gonna look like slits along the chicken. And when it cooks, it'll spread and it'll look like a hassle back. Let's show let me show you. Don't cut this all the way through though. You guys want deep slits, but don't cut the chicken all the way through, see? Just like that, so it creates uh, a cave right here. The more slits you have, the more stuffing you have. Hey, the more the merrier, right? But like I said, don't cut it all the way through because you don't want your chicken to split, see? Just like that. We have that little edge left on there. Hello. One more slit. And this is what it looks like. A hassle bag. Set that chicken to the side and we continue. A 
from here, take our spinach and ricotta mixture and we stuff in our slits. Put a nice little dial there. Oh, it don't fit. Make it fit, stuff it up in there. Use your hands. Don't worry, I washed mine. There you have it guys. The first Hasselback chicken. Stuffed with ricotta and spinach. Let's set this bad boy to the side of my plate here. And we continue. Use my spoon again. Let me see what works better this time. Oh, that's not good. Here we go. Just a little slit, only needs a little piece. There it is. This one's a little overflowing. Spread that apart, stuff it up in there. Don't be shy. Stuff that. Voila! Second chicken has back. So now that our chicken has been stuffed, let's move our station and clean up a little bit and take it to the oven at 400 degrees. I'm gonna go preheat it and grab my baking tray. Voila! Back with my back baking tray. And I made a little tin foil plating so that I don't have to do extra dishes. Let's grab our chicken. Place it all here. All right, next step is the most important part, all right? I hope you guys are listening. You guys got your ears open? You guys your eyes open? You guys ready? Go wash your hands because we gotta touch our cheese. We can't contaminate, all right? Voila, now my hands are clean. Let's finalize this dish. Cheese, I'm using two types of cheddar today. Not just one, I'm using two. Orange and white. I like to have the color contrast, you guys know? I'm a little extra. Sprinkle all these bad boys on there, just like that. Just like that. Don't be too heavy because we gotta add a second coating of the white cheddar. Damn, how does that look already? That looks pretty delicious to me. But it can only get better by adding more cheese. How can you complain? There's chicken, there's ricotta cheese, and now there's cheddar cheese. Guys, if this isn't fine dining at home, I don't know what it is. Make this for your woman, make this for your kids, make this for your partner. Bam! I lied. I didn't finish it. I want to go back on some orange cheddar. Add a little bit more color. Contrast, remember? Key here. Don't worry. All that cheese is gonna melt. Ooey gooey goodness. Last step, salt and pepper. Always salt and pepper, guys. This stuff is key. Salt and pepper. I like to use a fine salt here. My kosher crystals. And sometimes I use uh, sea salt. But I like the kosher one. I don't know, it has a better flavor. Bam, 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 bam. Just shoot the peppers on there. Voila, 400 degrees, half an hour later, we have Hasselback chicken. Stuffed with ricotta and spinach, topped with cheddar cheese. And there you have it, it's ready in half an hour, guys. So, after about half an hour or so of baking our chicken, we finally have cooked chicken Hasselback stuffed with ricotta, spinach, and cheddar cheese on top. Let's plate one for dinner, guys. Woo! It's hot. Mm. 
Wow, I wish y'all could smell that. There you have it. Chicken Hasselback, stuffed with ricotta, spinach, and cheddar cheese. You guys can serve this with sides like mashed potatoes, french fries, zucchinis. It's up to you. But today, I'm watching my weight. So, this is it. Healthy chicken breast, some spinach, and ricotta cheese. And some cheddar. That's it. Gotta watch those calories. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Let me know how you do. And lastly, hit that bell notification icon to see what my next video is. Thanks, guys.